Number 59, the toxic pigment called white lead, which is PB3OH2CO3. Two has been replaced in white paints by rutile, which is TiO2. Cool. <laughs> um, how much rutile in grams can be prepared from 379 grams of an ore that contains 88.3% ilmenite, which is FeTiO3, by mass? And then they give us this equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this a little bigger. So we have... 2 FeTiO3, right? And that's this ilmenite, right? This guy. Um, and then plus 4 HCLs plus Cl2 yields 2 FeCl3 plus 2 TiO2 plus 2 H2O. Okay. So the first thing that I notice here is that I notice that there are coefficients in the front of some of these uh, compounds. Like there's a two here, a four here, a two, and a two and a two. This means that chances are the equation is going to be balanced already. So you can pause the video and see if this is balanced, but since they added coefficients, I'm going to assume that it's already balanced. Now I like to just write out under my balanced equation what I have and what they want us to know. Now the first sentence, even though it was very nice to us to know, it's, it's useless, right, in terms of the problem. Basically we want to know how much rutile, now the only thing from the first sentence that we need is that rutile is TiO2. So we're asking for how many grams of TiO2. TiO2 is here in my balanced equation. So I'm just going to say, okay, we want to find the grams here. Now, they're telling us that we have a 379 grams of an ore that contains 88.3% ilmenite, which is the Fe, TiO3, by mass. Okay, so if they give you a percentage and they're talking about by mass, right, a percent mass, right, by mass, we know that we have to use this formula here, okay? So a percent mass, or just any percent formula in general, is always part divided by a whole times 100, okay? But the thing is, is that with percent mass, right, usually we have a solute and a solution. But you could think of it as, you know, the part and the whole. Now in here, we just have to find out what the part is and what the whole is. But they told us that we have a 379 gram ore, so a, a whole total thing, and the ore contains some piece of ilmenite, right? 88.3% ilmenite. So in the whole entire ore, there is 88.3% FeTiO3. Ah, so we have an ore and we have this FeTiO3. The whole ore is technically the solution. So I'm just going to erase this, right? And say that this number is the ore value, right? Because the ore is the whole total piece. And what we're going to find, the solute technically, is the ilmenite, right? It's the FeTi. O3. Now let's see, what numbers do I have? Well, they gave us the percent mass. It's 88.3%. Okay. They told us that the whole ore, so maybe I'll just say that I have this, right? The whole ore was 379 grams. This is standard. So I have this number. I have the ore mass, right? And masses in grams. I have the times 100. So it looks like I could find out the FeTiO3 mass in grams. So let's get started on that. 88.3 equals something over something times 100. They told us that the whole ore was 379. And I'll put the units because I, I already know that the units are correct. And then I'm going to put an X here to solve for the FeTiO3 mass. So I'm just going to divide by 100 just to get that 100 out of here. 
So I get 0 0.883 equals x over 379, cross multiply, right? And let's see what we get. We get 0.883 times 379. I get 334.657. And that's grams of the part. And remember, the part was the ilmenite, which is the Fe. TiO3. Okay. So from here, I found out I have a mass of this compound, right? The ilmenite. So I'm just going to put underneath that I have, what is it? 334. Point, oops, that's a little small. 334.657 grams of this. Now, we still want to find out the grams of this rutile, right? But remember, we can always use stoichiometry, aka using ratios, of going from one compound to another using a balanced equation. So if you want to, pause the video if you want to keep all this work, but this work has to be gone. So I'm just going to get rid of this, goodbye, and get rid of this. We basically had to do all that just to get this number. Now... I'm starting with the uh, FETIO3, and I have to go to this, right? It's a gram all the way to gram. So I could use my flow diagram that we've been using through the whole playlist, and it's this one, right? Grams to moles to moles to grams. Let's just cater it to what we uh, need. The reds, remember, are always your starting number. That's why I color code this. Whatever I want to find out, it's the blue because that's the ending. And the reds are always your starting. So I'm starting with 334.657 grams of, now I'm just not going to say A anymore. I'm going to say this is of the FETIO3. And from there, I could find the moles of the same compound, FETIO3. Three, Then from there, I can go to the compound that I want. It's not going to be B anymore. It's going to be the TiO2. And then from there, finally, I can get the grams of the TiO2. Okay. Just a whole slew of conversions. But like always, we just start with what we're given. 334.657. And now that's grams of Fe. TiO3. Remember, we're just multiplying by a ratio, right? Work with the units first and then come back and put your numbers in. You don't want this unit, so that goes on the bottom. So grams of Fe TiO3 on the bottom. Look ahead to see what you're going to be putting on the top. So in this case, it's moles of Fe TiO3. This is a gram to mole or a mole to gram conversion of the same compound. That's always the periodic table conversion. We've done tons of problems like that. And remember, when you use the periodic table, you always have one mole. So the mole value is always the one. The number that you find on the periodic table goes with the grams. So you got to add up these compounds. You have one iron, one titanium, and three oxygens. So... 55.85 for the iron, titanium is 47.87, and then plus 3 times 16, because I have 3 oxygens. So I get 151.72, and now the grams of that compound cancel. And then let's not, you know, equal and find a number, let's just keep rolling. All right, don't, don't be nervous, we got this. We're doing the same thing that we just did before. We're going to times by a ratio, put the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So it's going to become like muscle memory, you know, as, as more you do it. Okay, guys, look ahead to see what's coming up. Now I'm changing my colors. So it's going to be mole of TiO2. And now it's a mole to mole conversion of different compounds. Can't use the periodic table for that. You only use the periodic table if you have the same compound on the top and the bottom. This is using your balanced equation, BE, balanced equation. 
All you have to do is just find these compounds on your balance equation and just see what the coefficient number is. So TiO2 is in the products, it's right here. And in my balanced equation, I say that I will make two of these. So I go to the TiO2 and I just put a two. Now I search for the FeTiO3, that's a reactant. And it tells me that I will need two of these. So for every two of these needed, I will produce two of these. So it's kind of like a wash. It's like a one-to-one, -one, right? Cancel the units out that you want, right? Not the numbers, just the units. And we want grams. So we're almost there, right? So just one more, times by a ratio, work with the units first. Mole of TiO2 on the bottom. Gram of TiO2, right? Because I looked ahead to see what was coming next. It's a gram to mole conversion of the same compound. Yeah, you got it. We're gonna use the periodic table. Remember, using the periodic table, one mole. The word mole is down here now, so the one goes down at the bottom. The mass that's on the periodic table goes on the top. So I have one titanium, 47.87, plus two times 16. I get 79.87, cool. Cancel out the units, the numbers do not cancel, and now I can finally equal because I'm at the end, right? So you can plug in these numbers, you know, multiply all the numerators, multiply all the denominators, and then do the final division. I'm just going to go from left to right. Anytime I see a two, uh, sorry, anytime that I see a number in the denominator, denominator divide, DD, okay? This is only for conversions. Um, two divided by two is one, so I'm just going to kind of like not even include that. So let's see what we get. 334.657 divided by 151.72 and then times by 79.87. Okay, now I got to look back. If we're doing sig figs here, right, there was only two numbers and they both had three sig figs. So my answer should technically have three sig figs at the end. So 176 grams of TiO2. And that is your final answer. Yeah, right? How many or how much rutile can be prepared? You can make 176 grams of this rutile if you had you know, 370 grams of the whole ore that contained 88% of this ilmenite in the ore. That's it. So guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you like. We just hit 10,000, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. You guys rock. I, I remember when, you know, sometimes we watch, you know, some videos back and in, in the video we, we say... Guys, we just have 34 subscribers. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's incredible. And, you know, thank you so much. It's, it's, it's crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys rock. And, you know, tell your friends. Tell your classmates. We have physics videos and we have math videos as well. So if you guys need help in those, we would love to help you. Um, as always, I hope you have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.